Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing some Sonic the Hedgehog figures. Brand new, new figures here. We got first on the list is Shadow the Hedgehog. Jack Specific. And we got the package in to the figure. Nice product shot of Shadow. We get the gold coin, which Sonic or Shadow can collect. Why not? We're still missing Knuckles and this version of Tails anyway. For the 25-inch scale figures. But that's all there is to say. For the package in. And let's look at our figures themselves. Click on the lights. You can see all that detail. Then you got some movement in the legs. That's nice. Arms can move. Not very well because they don't have elbow joints. But you, he can go like, I'm going to punch you, Sonic. Punch, punch, punch. Because I'm Shadow. Why not? He's Shadow. And he can run dash and be like, coin is mine <laughs> and I am going to give you a little bit of a bio on Shadow the first time I ever saw Shadow was in the Sonic X cartoon when he appeared in the uh, Space Fortress base and he was Project Shadow yeah Shadow was the coolest hedgehog in the Sonic toy line he got so many series not many series releases. The only cartoon I ever saw him in was in Sonic X. And they're now bringing Shadow into the next Sonic the Hedgehog movie for any of you Sonic the Hedgehog fans. Because Shadow is coming back. That's why I had to review Shadow the Hedgehog. And he is good looking, really nice paint, really nice sculpting, really nice detail. Head's got some articulation, not much. Not a bad looking figure, if I do say so myself. Is a Jack Pacific 25 inch shadow worth adding to your collection? Yes, he will look good with all your other Sonic figures. And he looks just like he was in the cartoon. Which is good if you don't have a original Sonic X shadow. But now we're going to get down to some comparisons with some other Sonic X characters. Well, my fill-ins for them anyway. Here's 25-inch shadow next to the bigger scale Amy. Why not? Younger Sonic in the bigger scale. Why not? Because he's a big boy. And the bigger Tails figure. He's smaller than that one. And now for some other 25 inch scale figures. We got Metal Sonic. And Transparent Young Sonic. 25 inch scale. And, of course, his rival, Sonic himself. And last but not least, his video game counterpart, Silver. Why not? Because I got Silver. And the Diamonds series, Eggman. Why not? And, yeah, these are good-looking figures. I'm so glad I picked him up for my collection of Sonic figures. I've always been a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. And now I got some more Sonic for the shelf. But next, we're going to look at our other figures from Sonic. And this is a couple figures I got with Sonic Boom. Season 1, Volume 2. We got Knuckles, so we're going to do some other comparisons. Here is Knuckles next to Shadow. Next to Tails. Next to... Amy, why not? Because I like Amy. Young Sonic. And 
Older Sonic. Metal Sonic. Eggman. Transparent Rare Young Sonic. Why not? And Silver. We're going to be doing a lot of comparisons here for this video, so you're going to be seeing a lot of comparisons. But now we're going to look at our other Sonic figure from Sonic Boom, and this is Tails. We, and he has got a different design from the original Tails. He's got a little bandoneer. He's got a wristwatch. That's kind of cool. He's got these goggles on his head, which is just so adorable for Tails. And I like that, that they put that into this figure. I'm like, oh, what time it is? is? It's time to kick some Eggman butt. And yep, but now we're going to get down to comparisons one final time before we end this video. Knuckles. Silver. Eggman. Sonic. Young Sonic. Another Young Sonic. Metal Sonic. Original Sonic. Shadow. His other incarnation of Tails. And Amy, why not? Are these Sonic figures worth adding to your collection if you're a huge Sonic fan? Yes, I love Sonic so much and I'm so glad I picked up some of these great figures. And they will definitely be in my collection because I am a huge Sega Sonic fan. And I'm picking up a, quite a few of these now. And that's all there is to say for this review. If you like this video, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And Steady Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.